Hello private practitioners, this is Jo and today is the 25th of October 2017 and yes I had to keep checking because I keep forgetting. I don't know about you but it's been a vocally intensive day. Worked out just a couple of minutes ago that I've actually been talking for six hours. I have had six online sessions today and that, there was a lot of talking. There's also a lot of listening but that's a lot of work for your voice and I can feel the fatigue happening. And I had great, um, I guess, uh, great plans this morning because I knew I was going to be doing a lot of talking today. I had great plans to do my vocal exercises, as I've recently learnt from the beautiful Lisa Laughlin Bell. But of course, they're not a habit and I forgot. And now it's quarter to five on a Wednesday afternoon and my voice is giving out. It's not sore. I just can feel it. It just feels different. So for those of us who do talking as a part of our job, we kind of need to look after our voices. Um, in saying that, I might just have a sip of water. It was a big day of delivery, but I don't mind that. And I guess it, for me today, I had team interaction. So there was coaching and speaking to and talking to various members of my team, which I love because, you know, some days my team drive me nuts, but that's usually because the systems and processes that I'm not following aren't supporting them, let's face it. And then there's other days that I go, I cannot believe that these incredibly smart, savvy people want to be in my business, that they want to partner with me. And I've, I've just been a little bit overwhelmed by that and full of gratitude and hopefully my gratitude comes through that they watch these videos, they're inspired, they, I've even had one ring me up and ask me if I was okay on the day I made that big mistake and disclosed it to the world, which I thought was awesome. So I think uh, t today, yeah, my voice is sore and I've been doing lots of delivery and I had a couple of my US clients, we were doing some great work around um, building their online presence for their practices and it just, you know, the emails can wait and the washing can wait and sometimes I get so overwhelmed by all of the bits and the pieces and the things that I like to think of as efficient, trying to do two things at once. And it's just, again, reminding myself to be really present and how much more effective our communication is when we have the opportunity to be present. And I need to just take notice of that and realise that that's actually powerful and important and it allows people to feel um, respected and allows me to feel fulfilled instead of trying to get through all the bits and the pieces of the tasks and the things. Which might sound really interesting because something I've noticed about myself is I actually don't have a very high task completion drive. I have lots of tasks that aren't finished and I've talked about this before where my uh, goal for this quarter is to complete stuff, to finish stuff. And I, and I think that you know my drive to get things completed isn't a good fit, isn't a great or an easy fit for me. It's not that it's not a good fit. It's not an easy fit for me because I like doing the new stuff and I like coming up with the new things and I like implementing things and changing things and innovating and building something new. I don't like seeing things have to go through to fruition. I I, fall, I get bored. But it's a really really good discipline on finishing things. But it's also brought up for me that there are some rough edges to my personality that at times might not make me a particularly pleasant person to be around when I'm trying to complete, complete things. So uh, my task completion drive needs to get some rosiness to it, I think. Haha. <laughs> Am I the only person that doesn't feel driven to complete tasks? I would much rather be talking to the people and designing stuff and designing content and programs and talking and communicating. Am I the only one? Just, just a question putting out there. I'm going to give my voice a bit of a rest this afternoon, which will be interesting because Sun has now finished HSE exams. They're done. Finished. The end. No more. We are done. We just get to wait for the results now. So, woohoo! So I'm taking him out tonight for a mum and son date and I'm really looking forward to it and hopefully he'll be in the mood for doing lots of talking so I can be able to do lots of listening. So this is private practice. Off we go. Be fabulous. I'll talk to you tomorrow.